Right, okay then. So if we go into the home learning area of the website of barham.co.uk, and if you drag it down, there is a range for every single year group. We have what we call different choice boards. So every year group has a choice board that links to what they are learning about or what they would learn in school over the next two weeks. So you just go to your child's year group. If your child is not working at that year group expectation or they are on pivots, assessments, you'll see here it says which score they got and which year group they should be looking at. Okay. It doesn't matter if you don't do all of the learning on these choice boards. It is what we would be covering in school. So as much as you can do would be great. We've also sent home some exercise books with children today. If you are at home at the moment and you haven't had an exercise book, you know, you don't have to record it in exercise books. It can be recorded in anything. And um, we're not expected to for the children to come in and to mark it. It's for them to be able to access the learning that we're having in school. OK, so I'm just going to go through some of the choice boards. So we have the physical activity choice board. And this gives you some ideas of how to keep active with your child. So you just click on the choice board and then obviously it will download. And it has lots of links on there, lots of ideas, different things you can do. We would suggest that as long as it's a quite an isolated walk, you can still get out in the fresh air at the moment. So it makes sense to do that as much as possible. Obviously, that will be updated again in another couple of weeks. And the computing board, again, ideas to do at home with your child to keep them on the, up to date with their computing. Obviously, we've already spoken about being safe online. We have the section of our website where you can go for information on that. So all of these choice boards have different links that will take you to different things that your children can do. Now, within each year group, there are the choice boards related to those areas. So for example, year one, you've got choice board foundation. That's all of our topic things like science and RE, etc. I'll just give you an example, art, science. And on there, we have all the different links that you can use for information or the documents that are needed. These are the documents that we would be using in class. We appreciate that not all, um, obviously, parents aren't um, teachers, but any type of education is better than none at all. And you will not be doing any harm with your child spending a bit of time going through these documents and spending some time working on those. So I'll give you an example of um, the maths choice board, for example, for year two. So there's a maths literacy and a foundation stage one. There's different things in different year groups, foundation stage um, choice boards, because some year groups block their work. So they'll do a week of science, a week of RE, etc. So whatever is on here, as I've said before, reflects what we do in school. OK, there are PDFs and Word documents. We have embedded these. They all work on our systems. If they don't work on your systems, you will have to work, work out because it might be to do with your settings. We only want emails to do with learning. If there is a problem that they're struggling with, etc., that you really, really just don't understand yourselves to be able to talk about it with your parents, please email in your class teachers and we will be happy to help. So I'm just moving up down here because there is, we've also put this on our letters, there is a family tips and advice for your time at home. In this letter, we have given some advice for recommended time to spend on these things. Obviously, we appreciate you can't make your children sit down for 45 minutes necessarily and get on with something, especially younger children. However, they could maybe choose one thing, have a break, do another thing. There is enough on the choice board to last over the next two weeks. Okay, so if you just have a little look at that. One of the most important things that you can do with your children is to keep the same routine. 
sleep, bedtime, same boundaries and same expectations. It's going to be a very challenging, wonderful time to be with your children as well. But it's also going to be quite difficult and we appreciate that. Yeah, and obviously we're there to help with that. So, for example, the things like the behaviour and boundaries in school that the children have, obviously we have the bar room best, we have the be kind, which is, and all of the bar room best is on our website. Um, so when we've said here, maybe make a family agreement, you might want to have it in line with what we do in school so that they see that when you are doing the choice boards, this is school and this is free time. Um, you can put this on, you can use this, um, as a guide or you can use post-its notice board at home or anything like that to set out um, an agenda for the day of what you want to do with the children so i think that's pretty much it we have worked really hard to make sure that all of this is accessible to you at home and that whatever we deliver in school will be the same as what we deliver at home um so if there are any questions about, obviously, the learning side of things, please feel free to ask us um, and we will try our best to deal with that. We've also got in some of, as we go through, I'll just quickly show you one more thing, because as it goes through to the key stage two, we've put the PowerPoints in as well for like maths, etc., that we would be using in school and those have the answers as well. So... Any of the children that can't access this from our, we will be sending it home from our resources, from our analysis. Just waiting for it to, sorry. As you can see, it's all quite slow. You will need to click on enable editing. <laughs> for example. So it has questions you can ask your children, the tasks and the answers. We've also put on here the presentation policy is now on the website. So if we could try and keep the children in line with that, they know how we expect them to present their work. And actually, it's one of the things that goes over holidays because they haven't been doing work in books for a while so if we could just keep on top of that, that would be brilliant. And the policies section is in accountability, policies here. And if you just drag it down, you'll find the presentation policy here. And that shows you it has a guide at the end of how to lay everything out the date, the title, etc. Okay? Right. Good luck with everything, everybody. <laughs> Good luck. Uh, keep, don't hesitate to ask us via email with regards to learning. We can't help you with anything to do with your ICT problems. This is the way that we're going to be expecting you to do the learning. So um, you're going to have to find ways, whether it's through your phone or whether or not it's through with, with people that you can borrow things from. We will not be having the facility to do packs of paper because clearly uh, we're in unprecedented times. Once again, thanks everyone for your support and we will continue to try and do filming if this is something that people appreciate so that we can keep on top of things. Thank you all. Thank you.